ok. So, we have discussed about one natural phenomenon that is lightning. See it is not always safe uh, like it is always safe means uh, you know like lightning uh, is a natural phenomenon from which we can protect ourselves ok. Even though even this is uh, create lot of destruction, but still there are different ways through which we can protect ourselves. Second thing uh, like predictions are being given about the lightning. Third thing even if it is not given we can see and understand that yeah the climate is like that and we can avoid many things is not it. But but the natural phenomenon now which we are going to discuss is earthquake. Now you know this can be more disastrous, more dangerous, more scary because till now till date there is no any such kind of instrument equipment which can give us predictions which can predict which can uh, you know inform prior and we, uh, that particular that, that this particular date we are going to have an earthquake and nothing is there which can alert us which can indicate us uh, beforehand. So, that is the reason it becomes more disastrous more uh, dangerous ok. So, actually what is earthquake children? It is that scary uh, movement you know a time when the surface when the earth below your feet shakes. What is earthquake in normal language I am talking about I am not defining it in a scientific way, but still <coughs> it is that short scary time, it is that short scary movement. What movement at, at this time the surface beneath your feet shakes due to which whatever is along uh, there on the surface of the earth even that shakes and uh, this when the energy is released ok this energy is so high ok. Uh, which bring lot of destruction along with it and so it is so scary is not it. So, in short in general what is earthquake children it is that short scary movement which can which can move the surface of the earth ok. And now if I want to define it properly I can say sudden shaking of the surface of the earth which brings lot of destruction and disaster is earthquake. Okay, what is earthquake children? A sudden shaking, a sudden shaking of the surface of the earth which brings lot of destruction and what which brings lot of destruction and it brings disasters and it is really really very very dangerous is not this is what this is earthquake is not it. So, just I will write the definition of earthquake first of all. So, what we are talking about now we are talking about the next natural phenomenon we are talking about earthquake it is more dangerous than the previous one it is more dangerous than the lightning and one more most important reason why it is dangerous is because no predictions can be given ok. We cannot uh, like it cannot be predicted nobody knows beforehand, but you know I want to tell uh, one small share uh, uh, share with you a small thing that uh, many of us know that the animals they can understand these vibrations is not it. The animals they can understand the infra uh, sonic sounds they can understand infra sonic vibrations infra sonic sound I should say or the, they can understand the vibration below 20 hertz ok. So, when earthquake comes before that also like the main before the main earthquake comes you know that vibrations can be felt by the animals and due to which the animals behavior also change. So, even this can be one of the very important way to find out the predictions, but it seriously needs lot of study and lots of experiments. So, first of all to begin with the definition of earthquake before that I will just write the heading earthquake. So, how can I define it? 
in journal I can define it in a way it is a short scary moment when the surface beneath the legs or feet moves. Now this definition is in general definition children that it is very short scary movement when the surface beneath our feet starts moving start shaking. But now we will talk about the actual definition of the earthquake. Okay. So, how can we define it? An earthquake is sudden shaking or trembling of the surface of the earth which <coughs> last for a very little time. So, how the earthquake can be defined children? Earthquake can be defined in this way. An earthquake is a sudden, an earthquake is sudden is a I can write over here an earthquake is a sudden shaking or trembling of the surface of the earth which lost which last so sorry which last for a very little time ok. That means in both the case in both the definition what is the similarity children that there is a shake there is shaking of earth ok. The surface of the earth shakes it moves but again again one more similarity that it happens it remains this surface shakes only for a very little time ok. It does not happen that it keeps on shaking the whole world uh, you know can destroy get destroyed because of the uh, shaking continuous shaking. Now, one more very important thing children actually earthquakes are very often you know it is happening every now and then ok. <coughs> actually it happens all the time ok all the time the earthquake takes place but the thing is that the intensity in later part of the chapter we are going to discuss about the intensity of the earthquake. So, just want to tell you a small thing over here like it happens all the time but that the thing which makes the difference is the intensity ok the earthquakes which usually happen and even we do not even are aware of that that yeah earthquake came and uh, like we are we even do not know about that why children because the intensity is very very low if the intensity is uh, if the intensity is low then it does not makes any difference it is it is a natural phenomenon. But if the intensity increases then it brings a destruction then it destroys the thing ok. So, we will discuss this thing in the later part of the chapter but just want to tell you one thing that this natural phenomenon is so natural that it takes uh, place every now and then it is very often is not it, but we cannot feel all the earthquake if the intensity is very low that it is uh, it cannot be felt by us it cannot be understood by us and it is not at all harmful for us ok. So, we will talk about this in the later part now. So, we have discussed here the definition ok. Now, we will talk about uh, the surface of the earth ok children. Now, many of us uh, can have this thought in the mind that what about the surface of the earth it is all like that same all the time everywhere it has got soil it has got uh, big stones and uh, small stones and rocks and what else nothing is there. But, but the surface of earth is not like that ok. 
the surface of earth is not like that actually we can divide the surface of earth into three parts ok. The surface of earth the surface of the earth can be divided into three parts ok. The surface of the earth can be divided into three parts ok. So, now we are going to talk about these three parts. So, first is earth crust ok. The first part is earth crust, second is mental and third is core ok. The surface of the earth can be divided into three parts. What are the three parts children? Earth crust, ok, mental and the core. These are the three parts of the earth, ok. Earth can be divided into these three parts, ok. Now, again the core can be divided into inner core and outer core. Actually, you know there is lot of things to study in this, ok. There are lot of things to study in this, but we will talk only, we will talk superficially, we will not go uh, into detail, but still we will talk, we will have an idea how and what is this. So, the surface of the earth can be divided into three parts, these three parts are what? Earth crust, mental and the core, ok. So, when I talk, when I say surface of the earth, so I am talking in this way. If this is the surface of the earth, so I will be talking in this way depth wise, ok. I am talking in this way depth wise means if this is the crust, then here is the mental, ok. This one the whole part is mental and then this one is the core. Are you getting my point? What I mean to say is when I am saying that earth can be divided into three parts, so I am talking depth wise, I am talking depth wise. Suppose this is the layer of the earth ok. So, the upper part is the mental, upper part is mental, then we have got uh, I am so sorry children, the upper part is crust ok, the upper part is crust, then after that second is mental and the last one is core ok. So, we will talk about this what is earth crust now. Children earth crust I will just draw a rough diagram first of all. Now, this one is the outermost covering is not it. So, what it should be children it should be crust ok, it should be crust. I will make it little thicker, I will just make it little thicker, it is slight only this much ok. So, this is the outer part of the earth ok, this is crust. Now, after this is mental ok, after this is what children? After this is mental ok, after this is what children? After this is mental. So, this whole part is mental. Now, after this is what children core, this is the innermost part, this is the innermost part ok and the core can again be divided as I told you, it can be divided into what outer core 
and again inner core inner core this one is inner core okay and this one is the okay so as you can see the layers of the surface of the earth okay what are the different layers of the surface of the earth uh, the different layers of the surface of the earth okay so what are the different parts or layers see first of all first is earth crust so this outer layer see this is this like okay and i'm talking about the depth i told you before also isn't it so if i draw it in this way this is just to make you understand children so then this is crust okay so if we draw in this way okay so the crust will be here the uppermost part okay after that this part will be mantle okay and this bottom is core okay inner and outer core are you getting it clear like what is this the upper part is crust then mental and then core so now what is there in this surface why it is differentiated what is the difference between all these layers so children if you can see it carefully this crust which i have drawn is very thin isn't it this crust which i have drawn is very thin thin because you know it covers only two person okay this cell right over there so crust covers only two person of the total volume of the surface of the earth are you getting it clear from the total volume of the earth this crust contains only or it uh, crust occupies only two person of the total volume that means crust is such a thin layer isn't it crust is a thinnest layer in comparison to the other two okay now this crust along with some part of the mantle okay this crust along with some part of the mantle is known as lithosphere where we live isn't it we live on the surface of the earth lithosphere is a solid part of the earth so the crust along with little part of the mantle is known as what it is known as lithosphere now this crust covers 2% of the total volume crust covers 2% of the total volume if we go depth wise okay i am talking depth wise if we go depth wise then it extends okay it extends till what to what kilometers it extends from 50 to 60 kilometers in the in the land part okay in the continental part now if it is if we talk about the oceans so in oceans if we extend uh, till 6 to 7 kilometers we will be able to find crust okay so we are talking about the what the parts in which the surface of the earth can be divided it can be divided into three parts the earth crust the mantle and the core core can be again divided into two parts the outer core and the inner core now what is crust children crust is the outermost layer of the surface of the earth it occupies 2% of the total volume of the surface of the earth okay and it is what crust along with little part of the mantle is known as lithosphere where we live okay now if we talk about the how much kilometers till it extends so crust extends normally from 50 to 60 kilometers and in ocean if we talk about then it extends from 6 to 7 kilometers okay so this is all about the crust now i'll just write about the crust and then we will move to the next one so we are talking about the crust it is the outermost surface of the earth okay it covers 
टू परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल वॉल्यूम इन द कॉन्टिनेंस it extends from 50 to 60 kilometers there is in ocean it is 6 to 7 kilometers okay then one more point that earth crust along with some part of the mantle is known as lithosphere but as there is no please so i won't be writing that so this is all about the crust i told you there is a lot to study about the crust but we won't be discussing much over here we'll just this is just a, you know small uh, way uh, to understand the surface of the earth just an idea to have like to have an idea ki what is all Uh, earth made up of how the earth can be divided so just a small idea now we will talk about the next layer which is mental now this mental children is made up of both the parts means what what it has got liquid part also and big solid rocks or stones also okay the liquid part is also there in the mental liquid part is the one which when comes out of the earth is known as what this is a magma when it comes out it is known as what lava please try to understand crust is the outermost part it forms 2% of the total volume that means it is the thinnest one okay this layer extends from 50 to 60 kilometers on the if we talk from land and then we have to uh, measure the surface If we talk about the oceans, it extends from six to seven kilometers. Okay. Now, along with some part of mantle, it is known as lithosphere. This much of knowledge is enough for this chapter too, uh, for you. Now, mantle. When we talk about children, this is a second layer. It is a middle layer which is above core and below crust. It is the middle layer which is below crust and above core. Okay. Now. what this mantle is made up of children this mantle is made up of some liquid part that means some liquid part is here okay now in this liquid this liquid part is magma when it comes out it is known as what La, uh, lava this is very hot temperature is very high it contains lots of minerals okay it contains lots of minerals now even the crust the minerals are present like aluminium magnesium can be find okay can be found over there so we were talking about the mantle the liquid part is there this is known as magma when it comes out it is known as what lava now even the solid big rocks are present in the mantle even the solid big rocks are found in the mantle so before we move to the third one it's better idea to write this so i'll just clean that side this one I, we will leave it as it is so that it can come into the continuation so so we'll talk about the second layer now which is what mental so what is in mental children it extends 82% of the total volume isn't it it extends or it covers i should say it covers 82% of the total volume of the surface of the earth okay how much does it covers 82% you can see the difference in this and this layer isn't it so now what can be the next point it contains liquid part which is known as magma
okay when this comes out can be known as can be known as lava okay so it has got liquid part this liquid part is called magma when this magma comes out then it is known as what lava then what else does it has it has got some solid big rock stones also it is made up of solid big stones also okay then this one was one point then okay now it is the middle layer present between the crust and what core okay so this was all about the mantle that it covers it extend it what it covers 82% of the total volume it has got liquid also in this this liquid is known as magma when this magma comes out it is known as lava and it even has got some big you know uh, many big rocks and stones also over there okay so this was all about the mantle now and we all can understand by seeing this it is a middle layer which is present between the core and the what crust crust is the upper part core is the what uh, it is below the mantle so this was all about the mantle now the third layer is left which is core now this core now children this core can be divided into two parts we all know outer part and the outer core and the inner core see children the outer core is liquid okay the outer core is liquid but the inner core is just solid it is made up of you know nickel and iron it is made up of what iron and nickel and the temperature is really very very high over here the temperature is very very high over here it can exceed even 4000 degree celsius okay so the temperature is very very high it is the inner most part of the earth surface here the iron and nickel are present okay it is present in the form of the uh, solid ball okay the iron and nickel are present like it is almost the temperature is very very high can extend uh, you know even more than 4000 degree celsius so this is about the core so i'll just write it this is the innermost surface of the earth chalk has become very small so it covers 16% of the total volume okay then the inner core the outer core there is no place but still outer core i'll just write in the short forms okay outer core is liquid okay and inner core is solid and what is present children over here iron not able to write children and nickel okay so now what is the core it is the inner most, most part of the surface of the earth it is very the temperature is very high the, uh, the outer core is liquid the inner core is solid what is present over here like uh, iron and nickel are present over here in the solid form the temperature can exceed exceed 
uh, it can be more than 4000 kilo, uh, what degree Celsius okay. So, this is the uh, structure of the earth which uh, just to have a gist of this earth can be divided into three parts earth crust mental and core core can be again divided into two parts the outer core and the inner core ok. Then the earth crust is a thinnest layer it covers only how much percent is that only 2 percent of the total layer ok total volume then what is there it extends from 30 kilometer uh, sorry 50 kilometers to 70 kilometers then what is there if we talk about in the oceans then it, it, it can extend from 6 to 7 kilometers. Then the second layer is mental it is there in the middle on the upper side the crust is there the lower side what the core is there liquid part is present this is known as magma when magma comes out then it is known as lava ok I was about to say larva <laughs> ok. Now the third part this is the inner core uh, inner uh, layer ok it can be divided into two the outer and the inner one ok the outer has got liquid part and the inner has a solid part temperature is very very high over here. So, this was about the structure of the earth now we will talk about what happens in this structure what goes wrong due to which the earthquake comes ok. So, please note it down so that we can move to the next topic. <laughs>